You see that? Filled his hair with his brain! Fastball's the even side. Mr. William. So, she was coming home from Mrs. Beck's, near on 10 mile through that scrubland there. She had with her a, a basket of little baby chickens. Little baby chickens that Mrs. Beck had given to her. It seems it was them chickens that the cat took scent of. Came in on her while she was fording that high bank creek, near two miles from her home. Well, she shot at it. Shot at it like you would. But were no difference. It came in on her anyway. Killed that horse right from under her. Dragged it down like a baptism. Tore her all down her flank side. But no matter them claws, she wouldn't quit hold of them chickens. <laughs> Clutching that basket to her breast like it bore the baby Moses. And that cat just all down her quarters, hollering, screaming. I guess it was all that hollering that scared the cat off. Or it just lit out, quick as it come, like a summer rain. Wow. That is just a horrible thing. I hope I never see wounds like that ever again. But I'll tell you what, she got all them chickens home. She didn't lose an area one. No, ma'am. Lying in bed when I got there, just still bleeding. Bleeding, but smiling. Looking out the window, telling me, well, now she's going to have eggs for her kids. She's going to put a coop up. See me, she's on the mend. Seemed real happy about that one. Seemed happy about the whole damn thing. <laughs> Pardon me. 
It's as if eggs for young uns were well worth the price of all her scars. <sighs> that is some kind of woman. Well, all women are some kind of woman, Lester. Fanny. That is the truth. And you are the diamond on the top of them. Lester. You plan on holding my hand all day now. I'm kind of considering it. I think you should know that. Jesus. Mr. Bird. Oh, it's either one or the other, sweetie. Listen to me now. Okay? We are tired the feedback, boys. <laughs> Looks like they've done some kindness and laid down a spread. This is some fun, diggers. I could lay my dick right through it and not have no regrets. <laughs> is that your daughter or your wife? Don't look at her. Look at me. Look at me, Mr. Bird. <laughs> mm. You done that to yourself, seeing a thing like that. I only ask that a cursing politeness didn't really care about the answer. Well, you don't gotta worry about her, you wanna know why? I expect you'll tell it. I don't kill women. Well, Jesus pissing from the cross ain't this simple. That's all together here. I could melt my bird teeth, Marshal. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. <laughs> Look at him, big dumb picture of life. What you want with us, Mr. Bird? You sure do hold a fine table. I must pay you well in a of women. Mr. Bird. I want you to listen to me very, very carefully, okay? I didn't mean to hurt no part of your sister. <laughs> it's time to lock her up a while so as to draw you from them mountains. You see? Oh, well, shit. Looks like I've been drawn. And that's the trouble now, ain't it? Men go out into the world looking for God. But instead, they wake the dragon. We didn't have no idea that that old guard house would cave in like that. We didn't got no idea. You see, they lately removed some posts and partitions what the center guard arrested on. Do you, do you understand me? Said they wanted to, to make more room in there, to hold more folk, but I didn't know all that. Not till after, not, not till it was too late. Not till it was too late. If that pretty scullion fraught their brains across these boards, for what evil my hand had broke? How fair you shine my ass for certain ignorance, my cause. Mr. Bird, I am sorely sorry. What came, what came, look at me. What came I truly did not want. Now I believe you on that. 
But them boys you killed up yesterday, them boys didn't have no part of this. They didn't have no part of this. No part. No part. How you arithmetic that particular line of horse manure? They'd have treed up Annie. In their own damn yard, we had blood of They'd have done it just to pat me backwards until how you crushed up Ada. You murdered innocent men? No! You did. No! Everyone's a cannibal jailed in the eyes of God and me! All men would beat me through their doorways as a dog would split to Ada as a bitch to mount his fucking chum to beat me by. And I will put my mark on each and every one of them for the years of raw looks and sour words. Each and all to a man. And you're the man here now. Fanny! Fanny! I was gonna take her to the sea. You know that? Praise it on my word, I would. All them birds and things, ways coming in, goes calling. All them things she never seen. And what do you think she's seeing now? You're asking me? You know what I'm looking at. William. There ain't one man of us don't wish could be undone some wrong he fathered. That is the province of our bailiwick. But the wrong ain't leaving just because we see it. It just sits there like a dog looking back at us. <clears throat> Not word nor hammer. He never could put the skier to it nor set to right what the wrong left bleeding. Set to right. Well, that's real pretty. But a mentioned sprat like you ain't got the rectitude to tell me how I ought to let blood lay. You know the story of Cheryl Ball? <laughs> this will interest you. Cheryl Ball was a war evil. Out by way of ancient Peru, and built the top a giant mesa. Now you see this old fortress. Well, <laughs> it had temples in it. It had libraries. It had breweries. It had gardens and palaces. Spectacle upon spectacle. It was a splendor and a wonder. And when the Incan armies were seized and ended in, the people inside didn't show no part of fear. No. Now they had themselves a whip whirling party instead. And so they cooked and ate all their mean fodder, and they brewed and drank all their stores of ale. And after they reveled for days and weeks while their enemies hammered at their very gates, and after they'd eaten and drunk all that could be eaten and drunk, they ceased their libations and they set the whole the place afar. Temple. Palace Brewery. Oh. And they let off the secret caveways while the fortress barned to its foundations behind them. But not a single grain of corn let you eat. No dry to drink to drink. No scroll to read. Not even one block of wood left for even one solitary ink in the conquer. Not a one shred of a single damn thing. As if the Hankins had encircled the drain. If that is some big way of saying that you aim to kill me, then you just get to it now. But you leave my wife alone. Leave my wife alone. He said, I don't hurt no women. <laughs> and you missed the course of my story, Marshal. See, it's how one meets when life throws out or life refuses where the measure of a man is drilled. I say the measure of a man. And here is that meeting. You let him go! <laughs> 
I'm here now for you. What do you want me to do, William? Oh, that's easy. You just gotta tell me where it is you put a blessing bones. They buried her, William. They buried her. Didn't have no kin to send her to. They would have done so if they could. Well, then who the hell am I? What they would have done. Put her in a box and shipped her out to the mountains for you to maybe stumble upon. <clears throat> you go talk to me your truculent bullshit and I will break a drunken store of bottles off in a prodigious asshole. You understand me? Freddy! Freddy! I said you let him Freddy. go, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I think I'm going kindly sweet on your daughter there, Marshal, as I sit with you. Betty, please. You let him go. I want you to leave. You to get the hell out of here. You crack my crust and you draw on death first from the damn garrote. I don't care. I don't really care neither. Ain't that a part of me. So what do you want to do, Fanny? I want you all to leave. Well, that does sound nice, don't it? Hell, I don't want to be here neither, but you all put me here. I didn't want that woman killed. I don't care what he wanted, Fanny. He made a choice, like to how now you got a choice, so how you want to play it? I just... No! 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 God! Oh! Fanny! Fanny! She'd have killed you, William. Seen it in the holes of her eyes. What you mean, you're stealing your daughter's shit? You look at that. <clears throat> On your feet, Dan. <clears throat> On your feet! <clears throat> <clears throat> You broke her up. You broke up, Adelaide. You broke up, Ada. You scrunched her down to a hole too small to fit her. Get him up! Come on, Marshall. Come on, Marshall. Look at this here, damn you! Look at that! That's what I'm doing, sister. 
That's my fucking sister. Well, you broke her arms and legs. I wasn't here. I wasn't here for it, You broke my sister's fucking neck. You broke my sister's fucking neck. William, I wasn't here for it, William. I don't hold no court over Barriot. I don't know what all they did. Please, please believe me. <laughs> William, I'm sorry. I wasn't here. Can't undo this, William. Stretch him out now, belly down. Uh, 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 Clinch your teeth, you son of a bitch! Where'd you learn that? A song like that. I hope not. She'd sing it overnight. Sing it by a rush light. Combing her hair along that pillow and singing. Me and my sister there. 
At least you can die out on you. Of a winter sometime. Ground was so hard it took five days to break the great war. She was as light as a dreaming child with death left of her to bury. I could pick her up with one hand, lay her down on the rocks and clay like a paper doll. All wrapped up in a winding sheet like a hiding dog. To crack the heart of a tree to think on. You know the year? I don't know. Pick one. Some year. I think of my own mind. Brings to sadness. I was too poor to get a doctor. Me just watching as she turned. Stretched out, raw boned and stinking. Cooking in a sheet iron shack. And me and Ada taking turns to fan the flies away. Flies sticking to her sweat, beating sweat from off the wings. I remember she held out a hand to me. She raised it off the bed like a prayer. Keep safe, you gentle sister. Now you take her and you run. But when I run, I left her. The other things don't come in life, honey. You want to know that. Life only goes one way. Some live in lightness on the land. They see glory on every hill. They dance inside of splendor, but most of us never will. Most of us just catch a breeze of it. Like smelling rain after it gone. We feel the shape where we wander lay. We crawl in the smoke it left behind. Blinding and traitorous, we moan into the bloodlight to our old darkening selves. In wonder, it ain't not in our world. I wonder ain't to never be. We can feed more wood to this fire. Can't do that, Danny. <laughs> Against storm, gale, wolves, and cockages, comers of all kinds. And he'll break on the shore of a fire. And we will burn it till the sun burns back. Just you, me, and Nada. Straight through this night. Okay, honey. All right. You made it again. Okay.
now Will you be back, my love? Oh, that will never be. Oh, that will never be.